what you're gonna do Tell me what you're gonna do Oh, we're gonna make that move Open the road for me And I'm gonna follow you I'm gonna follow you Oh, we're gonna make that move Hey girl, hey. First off, just want to say thank you guys from the previous video for giving me name suggestions for my Snapchat. I have now joined the Snapchat community. So my Snapchat name is Oh Snap Whaley, or more like Oh Snap Whaley. So far I have posted, I believe, one video and one picture. I'm still trying to understand how exactly to use it, so bear with the system. So for this video, as you guys know, I was just in Hawaii like, two weeks ago, two weeks ago when I was there for my birthday. While I was there, we were vlogging. A lot of you kept asking me about my outfits in the video. To be honest, all the outfits I wore in that video were not new outfits. Like I pretty much took things that I already had in my closet and I just put it together and I was like, okay, going to Hawaii. A sister was trying to save money for vacation, okay? Some of the outfits you have probably seen before in previous lookbooks and things like that, but since you guys were curious and wanted to know like about my outfits, I decided to film a lookbook while I was there, so that is what today's video is about. So this first outfit right here, I don't know what to call it. I am really bad at naming outfits, so yeah, this rose top with white shorts outfit. I really like this one because it's just really girly really me I don't know if you guys consider me girly because I know I got my ratchet side and I'm very you know but on the inside I'm a very girly person okay this outfit I really like how comfortable it is my top is actually from it is from Topshop Sophie actually gave me this top this top I'm not sure how old it is but it is from Topshop you probably can't find it anymore it just has like these pink like 3d flowers on it that just kind of sticks out of the shirt so it's not you know 1d and as for my shorts i believe these shorts are from thread sense or sabo skirt again i got it about a year or maybe even a year and a half ago so i cannot find the link for it anymore but Again, I'm sure you could probably find shorts like this anywhere, like such as threadsense.com, lulus.com, maybe even Forever 21. One thing that I really like about these shorts is that it has an elastic waist because you know, when it's your birthday, you tend to eat a lot, at least in my world, that happens. The elastic waist just makes sure that I feel like I can breathe, you know? I also really like the detail on these shorts. I'm not sure if it's called like the scalloped, you know, detail or something, but it has the lace at the bottom. It's not just any plain white shorts. It has a little more flair and character to it. As for this kimono, I love, love, love this kimono. And I know that this kimono stands out to so many people because every single time I wear it, people actually ask me where it's from. And I got this from Urban Outfitters, I wanna say late last year. I'm not sure if it's still available just because it already went on sale. So it's probably like discontinued. If you want something like this, you can probably go on like Poshmark or sites like that where people sell used clothing. You might be able to find something like this. Speaking of this kimono, you will actually see it again in this video because one of our on vacation I try to pack as less as possible so I actually wore this kimono multiple times during the trip if you're not someone that likes to repeat outfits totally fine but I just wanted to warn you that you will see this kimono again in this video as for the shoes I actually didn't plan much for shoes because I only brought a carry-on with me for this trip I knew that I was going to be walking a lot so I wanted to wear really comfortable sandals and these sandals are actually just from Old Navy Good old Old Navy, $5 when they're on sale. Or is it $2.50? Throughout this trip, I actually only brought this pair of sandal. I know it's not the cutest pair of sandals, but for me, I just wanted comfort and I just wanted to stay light when I pack. So that completes it for the first outfit. Now moving on to the second outfit. So this outfit is the one that I wore for my birthday. If you guys have not seen the vlog, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. This was the outfit that I decided to wear on my birthday because one day, while we were on the tour though, we were kind of like on top of the mountains and things like that. So it it was windy like it was so crazy windy but surprisingly it was not cold like I did not feel the need of a jacket or anything 
anything. This romper, I believe it's from Sabo Skirt. This romper, it's just great. I love it. I've had it for so long and I wear it all the time and I find that every single time I wear it, it feels like it's the first time I ever wore it again. It's just really flowy. It also has the lace detailing at the bottom half of the romper, which I really, really love. It's just little details like that that I feel like really makes an outfit. As for my sunglasses, it was a really sunny day, so I had to wear my sunglasses. These are actually my only pair of sunglasses. As a beauty guru or whatever you want to call like what I am, I feel like I should be having a more wide selection of clothes and accessories and things like that. But to be honest, I'd rather spend my money on food. In my whole collection, all I got is just this one pair of aviator sunglasses. They are from Michael Kors. My sister actually got them for me about a year or two ago when she used to work there. But these are pretty classic. I mean, I'm sure you can still find them at Michael Kors. So that completes it for the second outfit. Now moving on to the third one. Again, for this outfit, remember how I said I'm gonna repeat this kimono? I am wearing it once again for this outfit. This outfit I wore, I believe, just to lunch or something like that. But starting with the bralette. This bralette is from Brandy Melville. I just really like this bralette because it's not just any type of typical bralette. It's like a knitted kind of thing. It's like a sweater except a bra. If you are someone with small boobies like me in Bitty Titty Committee, hey. you would really appreciate this bralette because you ain't gotta worry about no nipples like popping out or anything because it is thick enough to conceal them nips and you don't have to wear a bra. And for my shorts, I really like the pattern on it. It's really tropical and I must applaud American Apparel for their high-waisted shorts because it really sucks in the tummy and you don't have to worry about things flying out and things like that. So that's one really good thing about these shorts. And again, with the kimono and the sandals, same situation, wore the same thing, except for this outfit, I actually went on the beach, so I did not really even wear shoes. So that is that for this outfit. Now moving on to the fourth outfit, which is the last one I have. For the fourth outfit, a lot of you have been asking me about this one as well. This one is actually a newer one, so if you are interested in what I was wearing, you can probably find this still in stores. This outfit is actually what I'm wearing right now. This is just a t-shirt dress and I got it from Urban Outfitters. It's just a very basic high-low t-shirt dress. It's longer and flowier in the back and towards the front it has like a U or like, yeah, an oval U cut in the front. I did like that my legs were mostly exposed because it was pretty hot in Hawaii. This necklace, I actually got it from, I believe, ThreadSense. really like it. It just has like these little beads on it. It's it's long, so when you're wearing something so plain like this, like a, just a black t-shirt dress or something, it really plays up your outfit, so I like this. Now for my shoes, I actually brought these to Hawaii because I thought that I was gonna go out for a fancy dinner. I just really like how these shoes look. I like that it's like a heel, like it looks fancy because of the suede, but then it also looks casual because of the open back and the peep toe look. Really nice for when you wanna have a nice pair of sandals without you feeling like too dressed up. All right guys, so that is it to this lookbook. Um, not a lot of outfits in this lookbook, but I hope you guys like the style where I kind of explained it while you guys get to see the outfit. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, I really wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And just, and just make sure you know that, you know, whenever a sister uploads a video, you will be here. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! I don't give my next shout out. Oh, snap. Smoking a blunt. Why? Why do we have to have a period?